I'm back. Um, happy Halloween again. I cranked out another seven cards um, for a total of a dozen to send out today for Halloween. With any luck, I will have these in the mail today and they will get to the recipients by Halloween. Um, it caught up with me, so I was thinking I would do more detailed cards, but went with simpler ones so I could get them done because I was like, it is getting to be the time to send them out. So let's get into what I used to make these cards. I used again this Penny Black um, woodblock stamp from 2005 called, what is it? Ghostly Night that I previously shared. I used Taylor Expressions hand lettered Halloween. I used a bit for Halloween again. I used the Tim Holtz die set, which I think is called Ghost Town number two, previously shared. This are the stamps, and I didn't share this in the last video. It's just like a foam, and um, you stamp your, you use your ink, which the inks I used. Yeah, that happened. So... It's fine. Um, uh, the inks I used um, were the glam and the icing on the cake. And you would take your ink, take off the lid, and lightly tap it. The tap and pour calls it love tap. These cotton puller inks are very easy to get a good impression the first time, especially for a beginner. They're on a foam instead of a felt, which is like um, very forgiving, and that way you can get it gets into there easier than the felt and makes a clear impression. You just tap it on there very lightly. And then you would take it to your card and then just stamp it down. But make sure your card, I like it to be on the foam. And then you get an even impression every the first time instead of being on a hard surface. Or you, instead of using acrylic block, you can use this stamp platform. Mine is from Tim Holtz and Tonic. And it has one side is for clear, and then you flip it over, and the other side you would stick your rubber, as for rubber, but you stick it on this side. So you would stick them on here, and stamp it down. And then you can stamp it on there as many times as you want to get a clear impression. Like I said, this Catherine Puller ink, I find it's very easy to get a clear impression the first time. I also ran the dies through my sidekick. It's easier for little dies than getting out your big, big shot die, die cut machine. And you can see how well my plates for those have been used. You stick your die with your paper in there and you would run it through. This is just a little tutorial as I've had questions on how you actually do this. It is quick, um, little tutorial until I can get you a better video. There are also a lot of card makers on here that would show you, I'm sure, a lot better tutorial. But I've had questions, so until I can get to it, I hope that shares a little bit. Here is... Um, the very simple, I've stamped the Drink and Be Scary, I stamped on the Penny Black stamp, then die cut just three of the die cuts out, and then stamp the inside. I have, I had made seven of these, all the same, um, took about an hour and a half, I think, so not very long to make seven cards. I had previously shared this one. And this one took a little bit longer since I added some more die cuts. Die cut the outside panel and that. So, I um, wanted to get these out in the mail. And um, so they can get to their 
our friends, hopefully by Halloween. So I hope all of you have a happy Halloween. And we will catch you next time. Bye.